On that note, just to say thank you everybody, colleagues. I know you are all excited about this. Um, and thank you, Adam Angom Yai. Just to inform you that as part of the procedure, Mrs. Yai will be the one administering the oath. I'm sure the others will follow with other photograph sessions. But this is what Madam Ami Bojai Sisoho. I'm glad to administer the votes of the new sworn in ministers today. Um, Your Excellency, Mr. Adam Abaro, President of the Republic of the Zambia, Executive Members of the Coalition, Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service, Members of the press, all other protocols duly and respectfully observed. Good afternoon. You will recall that His Excellency Mr. Adam Abaro, President of the Republic of the Gambia, acting on the Section 71, Subsections 1 and 3 of the, of the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, uh, has appointed the following cabinet ministers responsible for the following portfolios. Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation and Gambian Support, Minister of Tourism and Culture, Minister of Agriculture, Minister of the Interior, Minister of Youth and Sports, Minister of Forestry, Environment, Climate Change and Natural Resources, Minister of Trade, Regional Integration and Employment, Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Minister of Fisheries, Water Resources, and National Assembly Matters, and Minister of Lands and Regional Government, Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation, and Gambian Support, Honorable A.M.M. Hussein Udawo, to come forward 
and take the prescribed role, and thereafter the sign the oath for. I, Honorable Abu Bakar Numukunde Ambaro Hussein Ujabo, having been appointed as Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation and Gambians Abroad of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law, so help me God. I, Honorable Abu Bakar, Nukunda Mbaro Zenudabo, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation, and Gambians Abroad of the Republic of Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia, so help me God. I, Honorable Abu Bakar, Numukundambaro, Sinudabo, having been appointed as Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation, and Gambians Abroad of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to me for my secrecy, so help me God. I, Hamad N. K. Hamad Gain Kupapa, having been appointed as Minister of Tourism and Culture of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Hamad Ngain Kumbaba, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of the Minister of Tourism and Culture of the Republic of Gambia without fear or fable, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and laws of the Republic of the Gambia. So help me God. Ngani Kumbaba, having been appointed as Minister of Tourism and Culture of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. Congratulations go to 
Honorable Hamad Enkeba, Minister for Tourism and Culture. Congratulations, Honorable Hamad Enkeba, once again. I now invite the Honorable Minister for Agriculture, Honorable Omar Ejaro, to come forward and take the peace title. I, Omar A. Jalo, having been appointed Minister of Agriculture of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Omar A. Jalo, having been appointed as Minister of Agriculture of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will directly or indirectly, I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. I, Omar A. Jalo, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of Minister of Agriculture of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. Ahmad Fati, Minister for the Interior, to come, up, to come forward and take the prescribed vote. Having been appointed as Minister of the Interior of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, my Ahmed Fati, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of Minister of the Interior of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor affection or ill will according to the constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I, my Ahmad Fati, having been appointed as Minister of the Interior of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God.
I, Henry Gomez, have been appointed as Minister of Youth and Sports of the Republic of the Gambia. Do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Henry Gomez, do swear that I will execute the function of the Office of Minister of Youth and Sports of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or fear, affection or ill, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I, Henry Gomez, having been appointed as Minister of Youth and Sport of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. I, Lamin Bidwa, having been appointed as Minister of Forestry, Environment, Climate Change, and Natural Resources of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Lamin Bidwa, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of the Minister of Forestry, Environment, Climate Change, and Natural Resources of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and all the laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I, Lamin Bidiba, having been appointed as Minister of Forestry, Environment, Climate Change, and Natural Resources of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy, so help me God. Having been appointed as Minister of the Trade, Regional Integration and Employment of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and be a true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Dr. Isaac Ture, do swear that I will execute the function of the Office of Minister of Trade, Regional Integration and Employment of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia, so help me God. I, Dr. Isaac Tutu, having been appointed as Minister of Trade, Regional Integration, and Employment of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy, so help me God.
Amadou Sane, having been appointed as Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and be a true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Amadou Sane, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will according to the Constitution and the and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I, Amadou Sane, having been appointed as Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. James Fumo Peter Gomez, having been appointed as Minister of Fisheries, Water Resources, and NASA Assembly Matters of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, James Fumos Peter Gomez, do swear that I will execute the function of the Office of the Minister of Fisheries, Water Resources, and NASA Asian Matters of the Republic of the Gambia, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I, James Fumos, Peter Gomez, having been appointed as Minister of Fisheries, Water Resources and NASA Assembly Matters of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. as Minister of Lands and Regional Government of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic, sorry, my, to the Republic of the Gambia according to law, so help me God. Okay. 
I lam in Ndambun Dipa do swear that I will execute the functions of the office of the Minister of Lands and Regional Government of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I lam in Ndambun Dipa having been appointed as Minister of Lands and Regional Government of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. Ministries, may God be with you also. Congratulations, Honorable Ministers. I now hand over the floor to my colleague, Madam Ami Goyan Kishoha, the Director of Press and Public Relations, Office of the President, to come forward and continue with the program. Thank you all, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you, Adama. It is now an honor to call on Honorable Dr. Isa Tuture, Minister of Trade, Regional Integration and Employment, to make a statement. Dr. Ture. Adam Abaro, President of the Republic of the Gambia. Honorable members of cabinet, honorable executive committee members of the commission, members of the press, all other protocols respectfully observed. Today marks a very important day in the history of the Gambia and for all Gambians and friends of Gambia to swear in a new cabinet under the leadership of Adam Abaro to usher the Gambia to a new Gambia. I wish to, on behalf of His Excellency, express his fervent appreciation to all of you here today in your various walks of life, representing different communities, countries, and regions, to say a big thank you for supporting this coalition through its efforts with the full engagement of Gambians, particularly the young people, to see the change they want the Gambia to be today. His Excellency also expresses his appreciation to the international community and friends of Gambia who stood by us and saw in us something that we can offer in togetherness to free the Gambia, to bring back Gambia back to its lost glories, and to bring the dignity and integrity of the Gambia for all Gambians, friends of the Gambia, and our admirers. I wish you on behalf of His Excellency Adama to also welcome you to this very historic moment of the Gambia, a new Gambia that will respect the rights and freedoms of the people of the Gambia. This government is committed to advocacy to advancing development for all, especially the young people who fought tirelessly to see the change they want, they want to see under the leadership of His Excellency Adam Abaro. We urge you to exercise patience as we work hard to respond to the great expectations of the Gambia. We will do our best and we will assure you that we will bring back Gambia to its blood. We are one people, one nation, to make the Gambia a better place for all, we must all work together to achieve this lofty goal. <coughs> I wish to take this opportunity to thank all of you and on behalf of the cabinet ministers and the committee of the coalition to say thank you to every Gambian here that has stood up and saw how we fought to move the Gambia forward. And we look forward to your cooperation, to your love and appreciation. They made this thing happen. Without them, it would have been almost impossible 
I want on behalf of His Excellency, President Adam Abaro, to express our sincere appreciation and gratitude to you all there who are watching or who may be here today that we appreciate all of you. We are together in this struggle and we will make things happen by the grace of the Lord. May all, Allah bless the Gambia, may Allah bless us all and bless the efforts that we plan to bring in to make the Gambia a better place. Thank you very much. Honorable Dr. Aisha Tuture, Minister of Trade, Regional Integration and Employment. My cabinet colleagues, the Secretary General, Office of the President, the Secretary of the Cabinet, the Permanent Secretaries, Heads of Department, Chair President, Members of the Press Corps, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, Executive Members of the Coalition, before I do what I'm called upon to do. I just uh, make a light, give a light, uh, not a joke, but something that is light. I hugged Mr. Sandy when he signed the old book. Mr. Sandy was a prisoner 72 hours ago. But here, with the result of the Gambians, he gained his liberty and is now coming to give optimal service to this country. <laughs> and yes, yes, I also hope you for another reason. Every Thursday, he will send me a bowl of hot benachin in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Your Excellency, let me first of all congratulate you on behalf of my cabinet colleagues for the resounding victory. I liken your excellency to Moses who was sent to liberate the people of Israel who have been tormented by the Pharaoh in the same light. We, the Gambians, have for the past 22 years been subjected to indignities, our liberties denied, our freedom taken away, and uh, we were reduced to nothing but abject citizens. It is Your Excellency who came in on the first of December to take us to the promised land and that is where we are today, you are like Moses. And I wish to congratulate my cabinet colleagues too for they are the team that is expected to work with you. We have taken solemn oaths and each of those solemn oaths bears something very significant. The oath of allegiance enjoins all of us not to build around your excellency personality cult. It enjoins all of us to be faithful to the Republic of the Gambia and to help you in shaping the destiny of this country faithfully. We have also taking the oath of a due exclusion of office so that we will execute nepotism, so that we will execute tribalism, so that we will execute parochialism, we will execute all sorts of sectionalism. And we will serve this nation without fear or favor. 
And of course, the oath of secrecy is very protective of the state. And each and every one of you will have to be protective of the state, of the Gambia, not necessarily of your, of your excellency. And when we are protective of the Republic of the Gambia, we are protective of your excellency. Your Excellency, this is singular privilege. After all, there are several Gambians, probably more educated than us, probably more patriotic than us, probably more nationalistic than us, but the singular privilege has been accorded to us to serve this nation. And it's a privilege, Your, Your Excellency, that me and my cabinet colleagues will not abuse. We will ensure that we are of service to this nation and will ensure that your vision and the vision that each of the ministries worked out will ensure that it is achieved. We realize that the transition period is short. But I have absolutely no doubt. The solid foundations of the Gambia that we have been dreaming of, the Gambia that we all yearn of, will be solidly built and that nothing, nothing, no bulldozer will be able to really destroy that problem. We realize that the challenges are daunting and enormous, but they are not insurmountable. We will work with you to overcome all the challenges. We realize that the expectations are high, but they are not unachievable. We will work with Your Excellency to ensure that the expectations that the Gambians have are actualized. And I can assure you that uh, you will not find one thing in any colleague of mine in the cabinet we not found in them wanting anything. We pledge our absolute loyalty to the Republic of the Gambia and indirectly to Your Excellency. We can only pray that Your Excellency continues to steer the affairs of this nation. We have gone out of a very difficult situation and it is only persons of wisdom only persons who are patient, persons who don't have us to decisions that can manage a situation that we have gone out. And I'm sure that management skill, your, your Excellency, I'm sorry, I was going to say, worship, your, your Excellency will continue <laughs> to uh, exercise. <laughs> on behalf of my colleague, your Excellency, and on behalf of our respective families, we wish to express our gratitude for the privilege, because this is not an entitlement. It is a privilege which you have accorded us, and that privilege we are very appreciative of, and our respective families and friends are equally appreciative. I thank you all. Therefore, it is something we have to be careful of. Listen to the words carefully. The statements made here are from the heart and they are statements that we really need to um, follow in terms of watching each other in a positive mood to encourage each other to make sure that we achieve our goals. It is not an easy task, but it is a task that if each of us are committed to, we will be able to task ourselves to ensure that we complete it. Thank you very much, Honorable Royal. His Excellency, President of the Republic of the Gambia, Adam Abaro, to make a statement. Your Excellency. Executive members of the Commission, staff of the President, 
distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I said, Assalamu alaikum. This is the new Gambia. And the new Gambia is a young. Welcome to the new Gambia. <laughs> Members of the media. You see the chain? Yeah. <laughs> So, we want to be very friendly to the media. The media is very important. With the media, you can go forward, get information, get enlightened. So, you are welcome. Today is an important day in the history of the administration of the Third Republic of Uganda. I would like to thank you for accepting this noble job, serving your fellow citizens without fear or fear. As we enter a new era in the political history, I have the honor to witness this important ceremony of swearing you in as the first bad ministers of my government. As we play to engage in institutional and legal reform, I urge you to work hard for us to achieve a goal as a government and leave a legacy for a situation of institutional reform, institutional and laws and procedures that will transform our country into a full played democracy and facilitate a social economy and political development of our people in the new government. Once again, I thank you. Forward ever backward neighbor. I say Alhamdulillah, Thank you. Um, I guess it's something we need to reflect on in terms of how we move forward. If it is a new Gambia, we must have positive attitude to change ourselves first and then society will change because change starts from us. If we change, society will change. If we change, institutions will change. If we change, as the practices will change. And we hope and pray that that change will come for the new Gambia. Thank you. It is now a privilege and honor to call upon His Excellency. As the new Minister of the Interior, I am calling upon all law enforcement agents, from the police force, immigration, the fire service, all agencies under the ministry to realize that today the Gambia is different, that the citizens of the Gambia are sovereign, and the police force, the immigration, and all other agencies are here to serve Gambian people, and that the law must be respected, the rights and liberties of citizens must be upheld. Uh, what I am saying is, the sports, we are going to do it like the local language said. Kumbandar Sabandar. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to the devil what belongs to the devil. I am not going to see relatives or friends. Who deserves it and who can do it, who have the know-how, will be there in that position and he have to deliver. How do you feel today? I'm, I'm, I'm elated. I'm very happy that, the, that, that a new Gambe has been reborn today. The wishes of the people have been heard by God and the change desired by all Gambians, particularly the young people, have been achieved today. And we look forward not only to a more developed Gambia, mm -hmm. but a Gambia that will accord every citizen mm -hmm. the dignity, the freedom, and the liberty that any human being deserves. Yeah. We have now stopped to be prisoners. We are free, and now we will work for the Gambia.
for every Gambian to be proud. Not only those who are in Gambia, mm -hmm. but those who are in the diaspora will be proud, even if they don't come home, to say loud and clear that I am from the Gambia and I am proud to be a Gambia. is the life of this country. 78% of the population depend on agriculture. And of course, when you talk about self-sufficiency and food, that's life. Agriculture is the lifeline of any country. So for me to go back on that, to, to that ministry is not only an honor for me, but a privilege to serve the mass population of the Gambia to see that they achieve what they have not achieved in 22 years. The ton of the tonnage of groundnuts have gone down from 263,000 tons in 1993 to 35,000 tons last year. You, that, that will show you the impact, the negative impact that the policy of the Jammer regime has on our farming community. Cotton has been our second biggest export, second to Mali. For the last 15 years, not one ton of cotton has been exported. We have been producing 42% of our rice needs in this country. Mm -hmm. Now we only produce 15% thanks to the bad policies of the German government. Mm -hmm. We have been exporting, please allow me to finish. We have been exporting 90 tons of vegetables mm -hmm. every Thursday from the Unum airport for the last 15 years, not one ton. Mm -hmm. So this has shown the devastation mm -hmm. that has gone into the agricultural industry. Mm -hmm. Agriculture is dead. Mm -hmm. The cooperative movement, mm -hmm. which I worked for for six years when I left school, mm -hmm. has been the brainstorm mm -hmm. of agricultural development. It, ha it is dead. That is why we have a mounting and very serious job to do. Mm -hmm. It is very challenging, yeah. but I'm so with the support of all Gambians mm -hmm. and our international partners, yeah. we will be able to achieve the desired goal of the Gambian people. Uh -huh.